Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for coming by the channel once again to see some more Captain Subasa Dream Team. I'm the homie Nako bringing you in this video. I hope, hopefully, uh, I just need to set this down real quick. I'm trying to hurry up as always. Uh, and I didn't set a timer for the clothes. <laughs> anyway i think i have maybe like 10 minutes but i don't think i'm gonna i think i'm probably gonna take longer than that and i hope uh, i might take a pause because i uh, it's tonight it's kickoff for the 49ers that's right my 49ers are taking on the dallas cowboys if anybody's an nfl out there hit me up where you at who's your team who do you follow well, what's up what's going on so anyway yeah you know it's gonna be an awesome game and i'm really looking forward to it so i don't want to miss out on too much of it but there's so much to discuss here uh, not only analysis on the new players that have come out, but also uh, changes that they've done. Huge change and what it does and blah, blah, blah. I want to get into all that. Uh, I might not be able to get as detailed as I want to. And if anything, I might take a pause because I think the transfer lasts a long time anyway. Maybe I get a chance to record a little bit tonight and finish it up after the 49ers victory. I probably shouldn't be jinxing it, huh? Let me knock on wood. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. I just hope for a good game. Okay, and a victory. So, <clears throat> let's go then. So, there are three players. Very interesting. Very interesting. Particularly that Misaki. There's a Misaki and there's a Misugi and there's a Ishi Ishizaki. Oh, no, it's not a Misugi. It's a Nita. That's right. Shine on you, diamond. So, Shine Junior Youth Stars is what we have here featuring. Well, I already said their names. And uh, it's very interesting because we're going to see... Some interesting numbers in the momentums of these skills. Okay, they're gonna look a little weird, a little off, because usually they're like a set numbers, right? Where they're like, uh, I would say most skills fall with end with a zero or a five, like 475, 440, 455, etc. But now you're gonna see stuff ending with threes and twos and fives and sevens and all kinds of stuff because the big, huge change that they made to the game and that makes it a whole new game essentially makes it a whole new game in a good way it kind of uh levels out the playing field a little bit making it a lot easier to use non-japanese players so that we could start seeing some variety in the teams but granted subasa is still subasa so he's still the most powerful player in the game uh the sdf on rahara as a matter of fact this one right here right he's still the most powerful unit in the game uh because i mean he got an increase in the in the momentum of his skills too so that makes him even harder to stop to a certain degree. They didn't go overboard with his shot, but they did bring up a lot of things. And that's why I wish I had the time to go over all of it. Uh, I spent when I did have opportunities to record, I spent some time just reviewing everything, looking at what and trying to think of ideas of like, OK, what do I want to go over? Because, you know, like Naturesa becomes a more powerful unit now. Uh, some other like uh, the nuclear, any Brian that you have becomes more interesting now in a way to a certain extent because increase in momentum brought them up one of my biggest things that i would complain about in a lot of these videos that you've been watching was that for the non-japanese players they're difficult to bring up from uh ability limit release and they were because of the availability of cards right in the transfers there's less of them so it's harder to bring them up to bb8 the other thing was the fact that when you do bring them up to bb8 there's not the balance and the momentum was not favorable was not good and so what am i getting at well uh hmm. since i'm on that topic right now let me kind of show you uh, uh what i mean just a quick example okay quick example so like let's say for example i think i brought it up to this one okay so these two guys right here, Casa Grande and Alberto, at one point, they had received, uh, let me get myself out of the way. Alberto and Casa Grande, they had received a nice increase. However, my complaint was, my complaint was, oh my goodness, this cable's too flaky, dude. I barely even touch it and it's already like, <laughs> okay. My complaint was, that their skills momentum were still just way too low way too low so this guy right here alberto for example before the update shutout intercept was at like 440 now it's 517 dude 517 so that's a huge increase right and it doesn't look like they did it based off of a percentage either it doesn't look like they just applied like okay let's do a 15 percent increase to our skills nah because if that were the case 
then this uh then Subasa shot would be way higher than a 560 but of course they could not do that here i think it was are you serious okay i assume that they did not do that because well it would have broken the game big time you know should have paused it i should have paused it that would have been my opportunity to pause right there not just that because well in case you're not wondering i hope i took the time to edit it out maybe i didn't because i'm trying to hurry up and everything but just in case i there was a little part where the cable wasn't working blah, blah, blah. uh so anyway yeah so right here with the combination special skill force at plus 10 percent, he's already gonna be good right at 560 he's still getting that uh 56 momentum increase so he's still at 616 for his shot which is incredibly high so if they would have brought him up and what was already a high skill momentum shot it would have de it definitely been too much too much but huge increases too like charging jump from 520 to 545 is a big deal flying drive pads you see 524 like i said it's going to end in weird numbers now right 524 his snap sliding 527 i think flying drive pass that was one of the biggest gripes with subasa too that was the strongest pass and that's the thing that's kind of funny because it makes you subasa even stronger because the thing, the thing he was lacking, that a lot of times there was a new Subasa, we're like, we need a new pass, we need a new pass, we need a new pass. 455 was the momentum for flying drive, but now it's 524. So it brings it up to like, you had a, a charging jump, was at like 520, 515, something like that. So they only brought it up by 25. But you see flying drive pass from five, 455 to 525, 524 is significantly higher, right? So that's how we know it wasn't just a baseline percentage. It looked like they took the time to actually look at and try and maintain some sort of balance without going too overboard and hope and looking like they considered a few things this is still crazy though because now definitely good luck definitely good luck stopping this because think about it okay well this guy and this guy might be able to still who knows but the thing is that while these got increases life slash interception went from 500 to 539 that's still significant but so 500 to 539 that's 39 points 39 points golden duel was at four it was 475 because the nankatsu golden duel was 490 so 475 to 530 that's a 55 point increase so yeah even though you're like oh heck yeah you know like i always more powerful and these guys are more powerful yeah you know yeah well guess what Subasa's so even more powerful still more so with the golden duel maybe the I, I didn't check to see because i don't have access to it the nankatsu golden duel but they leveled them out so that the difference isn't so much before from 475 to 490 was a big difference now they have it 530 i wouldn't doubt that the nankatsu one is only like 536 540 so it makes very very small of a difference and that's huge too because now you don't have to be like oh i don't have the best intercept oh i don't have the best one too Natureza, dude. Natureza. He had the new Brazil football. And that was, uh, I think, relatively low. 415, 420, maybe 440 tops. And now it's like a 500 and something momentum 1-2 skill. And that's perfect for him because he doesn't require Santana right there. And now you don't need full metal phantom to make the best out of Natureza either. Because his other shots are just like right there, right there. The, the only thing is that full metal phantom still gets the blow away effect. So I would prefer that. But you could run a solo natureza now with great effectiveness. The thing that was holding them back before was the lack of a good and usable one too. But again, like I said, even though his momentum increased, so did other skills. But again, not all of the intercept skills got increased so dramatic compared to like how... I don't remember what the overhead interception was at. I think it was 490, so it went up to 530. But you know, at 490, before he was stopping the new wave, uh, a new Brazil football or whatever, a lot easier because it was like, like I said, 415, 420, something like that. So it was super easy to stop it. But now that that skill, I want to say it's at five. I can't have it right here. Duh, a uh, duh. Where's it at? Right there, look. New Brazil football, 505, dude. So that's like a 60 point swing, you know, maybe even more. If it was at 415, he's even more. That's about 80 points. So that's a big difference you know big difference so now even the difference between tenacious last pass isn't as bad as uh it's only falls like a few points behind his uh i think the overhead pass or whatever it's called high speed tornado alpha still cool 
And then the thing now is that if you have a Misaki and you want to now, you could give them a decent ish volley, right? So while this was good at 554, the fact that now his volley, if you don't have, there is only two different S volleys that he had, right? He only had, uh, and they're both two exclusive cards. One you had to purchase and the other one was, one you had to purchase and the other one you had to pull from like that three, three, uh, what was it? It was an anniversary banner and it's the Maywa duo or something or other. But this one like jumping volley at 502. 502 the reason why that's significant is that even though this one oh 554 hmm hmm that's a 50 point difference but i'm not quite sure then the calculation on the low ball to see if it's worth it to use that volley in place of skywing alpha or high high what did i say skywing alpha high speed tornado sky alpha or if you could just use it now as a complement to it and as you see here look 3m used to be 490 now it just went up to 536 490 536 and this guy has golden duo at 530 six points difference as supposed to before it was uh what's it called uh from 475 to 490 475 to 490 that was 15 points you know that's only six points different so you could run i could potentially run this guy with golden duo instead except that you know this is just a team that i'm putting together for now but right here i do have access to the 3m so i still wouldn't mind keeping it just for the simple fact that i'll have a different animation just for that you know to just to add a little bit of spice and variety to the thing but at the same time golden duo cost me 435 as opposed to 455 so a 20 20 cost in stamina for only a six point difference nah man i think i'm gonna have to get rid of that 3m after all you know you gotta play it smart you gotta play it smart and you have to be careful because like i'm very interested in making a team with this guy uh i like the card i want to see if it's capable of scoring goals uh but of course you i think that in order to do so you need to win the two matchups but you know now he has a solo one too that is a lot better than it used to be at 520 dude look at that 520 before you needed to have his brother to do the twin windmill or whatever it's called to get it at a 510 and now you can do a solo one at 520 so that's awesome now be mindful of things okay because proven ace used to be his strongest shot i think it still is but in terms of like stamina to uh force ratio is probably not necessarily the best one to have so 536 at 430 let me go over another one watch um uh, this one's a trip, man. Eh? So right here, this spinning volley comes from another DC card. It was one of his first stronger shots. Only 517 for 405. That's a lot of stamina, right? Look at this one. 360 stamina, 524. 524 for 360 stamina. 524 for 360 stamina as opposed to 517 for 405 so not only are you getting more of a you're getting more momentum off of this older shot the animation isn't flashy but if what you care about is winning in terms and making the best out of your stamina right here dude 524 for 360 proven ace is at what where you at proven ace i know it's around here because gonna say i already got it i already got it on him let me just check it from there uh 536 for 430 what was the other one 536 for 430 536 for 430 so you're spending 70 stamina more for uh 12 12 and force more so you know this could be a viable option and that's cool because now you don't need to. Oh man, I gotta pull this DF to get his strongest uh, skill. I gotta pull the DF to boost blah, 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 blah. No, you could eliminate all, a lot of that. This one's only 505, but like, let's say right here I have the next stream one. Where's he at? Oh, right here. So, I think I could have done it from there, huh? 536. What was the other one? 506 or something like that? So this one might still be worth it, you know? And now this one, they recently gifted this one through the event, right? 521. So now I have access to two potentially 
two shots that could potentially score on Gento if I activate both uh, both stat boosts, you know. But anyway, yeah, you know, like I said, I spent all this time looking through so much stuff and I don't get to go through everything and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I'm kind of like putting together a team like this now to like really start kind of like messing with stuff. So the other thing, too, was a wide on, dude. Before his four aerial block this was the strongest that I had available and I think it was at 455. 455 cross block is automatically what he comes with and that one was only at 440 so now that's a huge increase and then if you consider still the fact that he inside master 50 percent and japanese player 30 percent i wonder if he has a better chance of stopping subasa maybe misaki yeah subasa i don't know but um i did play a little bit with this one too because that now that these guys went from 440 max momentum skills they go to higher numbers worst comes to worst is this okay if you face a Subasa with any one of these two right here, well, for one, they're most likely not going to want to shoot directly because of stand firm, right? So they're probably either, depending on where you match up with them. If you match up with them in the area, he's probably not going to want to do the one, two. And if they do the one, two, well, then you're forcing them to use up more stamina, making the shot a little bit weaker. If they decide to take the shot and use an intercept skill, stand firm comes into play. The best thing might be for them to try and dribble around you to waste less stamina and increase the effectiveness of the shot but you know at least you force them into a move that won't allow them to get his maximum shot off okay whether they can stop him or not i don't know i don't think even counts can stop him so i doubt that these guys can but at least they might do some damage with some others or they could maybe you know potentially just lower momentum and stuff like that so i want to play around with that a little bit uh but yeah you know i'm telling you 440 to 517 is a huge difference i think even the shutout block was a little bit like at 450 455 so 521 is nice you know so it's gonna make some non-japanese players a little bit more viable and you know it's gonna give you some cool stuff dude look at that student student teacher duels at 490 powerful drive uh he was at 510 you know so it's cool man it's cool it's gonna open it's gonna open a lot of things up and i think it's gonna be interesting going forward so uh yeah i guess as i come up with more stuff or whatever i'll talk about it but for now i gotta hurry up because i'm pretty sure the game already started 524 oh, my goodness okay so it's a very interesting transfer because again still with the three-step one right here we have taro misaki you know what nah the game probably started let me take a pause and then i will come back to review okay thanks go niners all right, all right. So let's continue here then now with the analysis. Uh, turns out that I actually put a pause at just the right time, the perfect time, because it was time for kickoff. And like I said, if you're a, um, an NFL fan, hopefully you caught last night's game of the, of the nice little uh, victory by the 49ers against the Cowboys. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, but anyway, okay, so let's go. Let's go then to the analysis. Go Niners, go Niners. All right, so. Oh, yeah, now I have to add this onto the video. So that's cute. So I guess I'm glad I didn't finish recording yesterday on Sunday and now on Monday instead. No way are the Raiders going to beat the Packers, man. Come on now. Raiders are terrible. Okay, okay. Focus now. Focus. So here we have Shine Junior Youth Stars. And as you can see, it's three uh, three junior youth players in Misaki, Sano, and Ishisaki. Now, the interesting part here is that uh, this Misaki looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Now, the thing here is... Let me move. Let me get out. Uh, uh. Okay, so the numbers here look nice. They're not, let's say, over the top, but that's kind of like done on purpose, I think. It helps them because of the fact of the passive that he comes with, which is adversity. Plus 30% when your matchup, when your matchup opponent's total stats are higher than yours. Remember, that applies to the matchups. Matchups. So, even if you try and white pass over somebody, I don't know that this is enough. I don't know that that's enough to white pass over somebody. But is it enough to... But would it bring you to good numbers to pass over other people? Absolutely. Now, on this one, let's take a look. Okay, 14K and 13K roughly for uh, dribble and pass. 
So you see, he's not too far off. No, not too far off from here or here. Okay, so 15 and 16K on the dribble and the pass. Then 12 12 and 12 12 for uh, defense and physicality. So let's go with that. Wrong plank. You see, so we had the F Misaki was at 12K, 12K, then 12K and 12K. So this guy right here, this card in particular, is up to is up to the levels in terms of stats that the Super Dream Festival Misaki has. Nah, but of course, what's going to set him apart is this, adversity. So that's going to make him usable for a good while. At 30%, 30% of 12K, both of those are almost 13K. But let's assume uh, it's probably easier for me to do it as a 12, uh, I'm sorry, 12K divided by 3-ish is roughly 4K-ish because I'm not doing a 33% calculation. That would be divided by 3. So I'm calculating it at 30 just to make the math a little bit simpler. And even though it's at 13K, it's easier to divide 12K by 3. So roughly 4K, roughly, roughly. So this would come up to roughly 17,000 in tackle through adversity. This one as well. And Misaki, the Dream Festival one, was also at 12 and 12. I didn't check the shooting because I don't know that this guy is uh, meant for shooting. But we'll see. We'll see. The only thing is that I don't think so because you see it's a except goalkeeper, except goalkeeper. So that means this shot is still weak. This power is still weak because he will not get the 30% increase from adversity. He's a DM and DF killer. So he's basically essentially with low baller, with DM and DF killer, and then with this 30% adversity. So he's basically meant to set up the... The the, 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 the the battle pass Napoleon, right? So and this is in case you come across uh if you come across Couch who is red, so this guy right here comes with blue for the uh, type advantage, the thirty percent adversity so that he could keep up or match or exceed Couch's numbers because Couch is so high, then more often than not he is gonna trigger the adversity passes. So this is not bad coming up to like about almost sixteen k ish or so in physicality. I forgot what Couts is at. I forgot what Couts is at. Let's see. I'll check it out right now. Uh, the dribble in the past, then, that means uh, I think Misaki SDF was at 15K dribble, 16K pass. Something like that, right? So, again, if I do, uh, well, if I did 14K divided by 3, no, that still doesn't match up. Was close to 15K, so 5. So, anywhere between, so let's say 4,500, right? Because it's a little bit higher. So let's say close to 4,500. You know, 18K in dribble and almost 18K in pass, roughly, give or take. Okay? So that brings them above the Super Dream Festival. Now, the only thing is that the Super Dream Festival one is still capable of scoring at this current time. October 9th, 2023, at this current time, the Super Dream Festival one is still capable of scoring on goalkeepers. So this guy right here, this makes it a little so that you won't need to use the super dream festival if you have the battle pass napoleon which i do so i think i might want to pull for him because of the low baller because of the low baller because he has this then it makes him very good as a setup player as a setup player playmaker etc but also he's nothing to write nothing bad about here Right, and since he's gonna come across as the other uh, other player cards that are gonna have higher numbers in him, uh, then he will definitely get that defensive boost. So this Misaki is an exceptional card, very good card, good enough to replace the Super Dream Festival one, absolutely. Now this one, you see, this is uh, I think around the numbers that you would see with Misaki, the one that we just passed at 17 and 16k, something like that, roughly after the increase. Now this guy comes with full body stand, max plus 20%. All right, uh, you only have intercept, tackle, and pass skill, but also low baller. So even though it looks like, oh no, he comes with the raid thing, he's just for the raid, he's just for the raid. Kind of, kind of, but the fact that he has auto intercept is nice. The only problem is that there's so many AMs nowadays that, it's kind of, that are really good that it kind of makes it hard to want to use this guy. Uh, low baller as well so again to try and tempt you into pulling for him to set up that napoleon and of course they had to make him blue as well 
so double extra tempting basically and most often this is interesting to me too most often full body stand players do not have high stats like this do not have high stats like this okay and then this is already above average granted a lot of them are like at about uh, a lot of newer player cards are coming out at 14 15, no but not even because even the super june festival misaki we saw that the tackle and intercept wasn't even that high if anything i think the the june festival pierre that just came out was kind of like an anomaly in that he had like 17k in intercept let's see like 16 and 17 you know so this is where sano is at 16 and 17 right but of course no full body stand high baller so that you have it for natureza you see it's not bad this sano right here not bad this is still a little low and this is just okay this is very good so again for setting up the fact that he has full body stand makes it pretty difficult to stop him as well at least at the beginning as a setup person as a setup player okay so you could get some use out of this guy perhaps primarily primarily for napoleon now this ishizaki is kind of weird to me I think this is very low, very low for defenders. That tackle and intercept are not going to be that great, pretty much. And here's the other thing that I don't like. Really? Really? Up to eight players, JY, just to get this guy up to 40? Well, good luck with that. And then just fire potential. Okay, I guess. And tenacity, well, okay, I guess. But I would want to say the problem too is that, oh, well, at least you, you get out for the 7%. But not only are you asking for JY players, but you want three toughness type JY players just to activate the 7%. Like, nah, man. Nah. Why well, you got to make it difficult to us like that, you know? So it's kind of, you know, it's, it's a pullable banner. But as always, you got to remember that you're, you're taking a risk because it's only 120. It's 120 dream balls. It's 120 dream balls and you have to be able to make sure that you have a proper setup or something like that to see what it is that you're trying to get at. Uh, like right now, because Napoleon is basically a guaranteed goal no matter what. But so long as you get him the low ball. So long as you get him the low ball. So, um, because, and I kind of want to experiment with this guy a little bit too. And still keep him with the high ball as well. Uh, but the only thing is that he's not going to be good for that. He's going to need to win matchups. So that makes it a little tough. Uh, I'm just, you know, just trying to experiment with different team setups and stuff like that. Just to make things a little more interesting. Uh, I wasn't going to pull here. All right. Uh, I was not going to pull here. However. However. There's this mini dream festival thing. Okay. So there's these two are not bad. If you plan on using Napoleon. Because I don't think, or oh, even even for the Subasa, now that I think about it, even for the Subasa when he comes across, uh, when he comes across uh, Genzo or anything like that, so that you're not getting, if you want to use the ultimate skydive shot, I think is the one right with Misaki, or whatever. If you want to do that instead of using the full metal phantom, so that you could conserve a little bit of more of your stamina, you know, so you could still be useful. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna pull, you're pulling primarily because you want to do, you want to use Napoleon, okay? Otherwise, mm, I don't think that there's gonna be a trend of JY players, okay? Uh, but I might pull, now I think about it, even though I have a Super Dream Festival one, nah, I still gotta, gotta resist, I still gotta resist. All right, I'm gonna use this. Thing, then it's all right. I'll figure out a way of using Napoleon without a guaranteed low baller. Uh, just because I already have Misaki, and if I were to pull, and then the thing too is that even then with this Misaki, well, I'm not forced to use Hugo, but you know, I pretty much relegated this guy to playmaker now at this point. See, those numbers are good. 17 and, 17 and 18k. Does the other one reach the same? I think so, right? What was it at 12, 13? 
but 13 and it was 4k 16 oh, okay so he'll be slightly lower than uh, than this guy the only thing is he doesn't give me much too much here he doesn't give me much of anything here in the hidden skills that's kind of the only thing i don't like um, i have a whole bunch of ways of raising any misaki anyway so you know i could but i want to just pull and then okay cool i got him so then now what you know um enough red guys to go in there anyway so if i throw the blue one what would i do what would i do no but those are like if i, I kind of want to play with this type of formation but then there's this ishisaki right here that i'm not necessarily man i don't know i don't know what i want to do yo that's for the leagues i don't know what i want to do man especially now that they increased the momentums and all this stuff on a lot of these cards oh i wonder this guy this guy was terrible thing he does was boost my subasa and stuff but other than that his stats are still pretty pretty low and then if i use this guy uh, i don't know what i want to do but we are in october and like i said you know there's um two months left of saving and sometimes people are telling me oh not how are you making us all how are you building up your dream boss so fast man what are, what's going on well as you see well if you're watching the videos you see i'm not pulling on everything and everything and everything just because i'm resisting resisting trying to look at my team setups and trying to make sense of whether do i whether i want to pull for something or not and that was the thing here the problem here with this mini june festival which was kind of a trip because they just released a freaking dream festival banner that featured already this Subasa and misaki and a lot of people pulled from i even said in my analysis video if you're pulling here you're pulling for one of these two players and then right away they give us a misaki that could kind of replace the super dream festival misaki and not only that but then you give us a mini dream festival again with subasa and misaki so i i get it i get it you're trying to get people with, through desperation uh you're trying to get people right before the dream festival uh i'm sorry the anniversary to spend up their dream balls and stuff like that i get it uh k-lab is a business after all but i'm not too fond of the fact that like okay well you're just doing it by giving us the same op players and blah 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 right luckily for me well, i already got them so it's easy for me to like skip i don't have natureza and one of the primary complaints that i had was the fact that i didn't have a way of bringing up this natureza up to full potential because of the fact that well i don't have that many cards that i could use to bb8 him and then if i were to uh even bother using the dream collection Natureza to bring this guy up to BB6 at least it was still an issue because at least before the momentum change before the momentum change that was the strongest uh dribble skill available to a Natureza because miracle dribble I think would go up to like 470 475 and then the heel tip whatever it's called he heel trick something that one was going up to what 520 or something like that and so there was that big gap right of like up to like 50 points or whatever of momentum but now that the gap is significantly smaller you know um i could probably sacrifice the dream collection not do that so. but at the same time do i want to because sometimes with reworks and all this other stuff before i remember i'd be like nah i don't care i don't care you know i don't care go ahead and uh I burned through exclusive units and stuff like that before too, just to pass on the skill or something, like without caring. But, and I almost did that with this guy at one point. I think I was gonna use him to BB8 the 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 green one that came out from the Juventus banner, and then all of a sudden, like a month later, they reworked them, and I was like, "Oof!" I'm so glad I didn't do that. So glad I didn't do that. But more often than not, I'm usually pretty down to just get rid of it or whatever. Right, but as you see here now, let's say okay, 545. Right, so they only increased it by like 25 points or something like that. This is the big surprise right here the new Brazil football that's a 505 instead of the 400 and 400 and nothing that it was before. But I want to see what's the difference between this one and America. Drive. So, heel trick dribble is 545. Let's see, I had I don't remember he has it available through here, or if I just have to pull it from my uh. From my uh, 511, okay. 
5 11 okay so you see they're both 5 11 this one costs 245 this one costs 255 and then we have which one is it? i think it's this guy but i give it to him. the america dribble 530 okay so you see before the miracle dribble if it was 470 ish 4 470 maybe 475 going to 520 that was about 45 points now miracle dribble is 530 and this one's 545 so 15 so it's a slight less of a difference uh but man i feel like you would still want to use that kill trick dribble so now i'm not gonna pull for it it's all right i don't need that naturesa i don't necessarily want that naturesa it's a very powerful unit for sure absolutely it's a very good unit but nah i don't want to mess with that um at this point right here it's going to cost 200 dream balls just to be able to reach a guaranteed ssr that does not mean that you are guaranteed one of the ones that are featured they just they have a rate up yes and i would argue that it's probably bigger than it is on the regular dream festival because on the regular dream festival i think this one was a, a uh the probability was featured at 0.42 or something i think that's usually the number and right here they're at 1.5 percent so i still like you're tripping me out man because you just gave us these players right here as features so how dare you come out and bring a mini dream festival and do this to people that's not cool dudes Come on, K-Lab, that's not cool. Like, I get you. I get you. And that your business and blah, blah, blah. But come up with something a little more interesting, man. Don't just keep doing this. this, over and over and over like this you know? I'm not cool that they did this. I don't like it. Uh, 145 players available. Okay, let's see. Okay, and so it's starting to include some of the old parts all over again. Uh, let's see. Let's see. <sighs> All right, I guess that is a 0.42 for all the other ones. So. <laughs> that's funny that you see 0.42 and every other step. So that's weird. That's weird that they did something like this and it's up to step four. Remember, okay? So three more uses into one guaranteed SSR, but that means it's 50 for each step. So you need 200 dream balls to add. Well, I mean, I guess at least you get to guarantee an SSR card, but. Uh, you know, it's 200 dream balls, man. 200 dream balls, which is not a bad deal to give it a shot at least compared to 200 dream balls and not have anything guaranteed at all. So, you know, but that's the thing. Most likely, you already pulled for Subasa, most likely, you pulled for Misaki, you know. So, it's kind of like that's kind of whack that they would just bring it back. Like this. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and see. Oh, that's a horse collar tackle. Raiders suck. All right, so I'm going to pull right here SSR tickets. 10 tickets, and we'll end the video here. Hope you found this information useful. I remember when I was recording prior to the 49er game starting, um, yeah, I mentioned the changes in momentum and stuff like that. I think I went deep enough to kind of show you a lot of the differences that we've done. And to look some of the things to look out for, some of the things that I noticed. Things that, that like you know just because it burst more stamina doesn't necessarily mean that it's the highest momentum <laughs> the highest momentum thing that you can do wow that was horrible dude i mean this would i would have been super excited about that one if not for the fact that i pulled them in the other i forgot which one was it that i went for i don't know what and i'm like okay well at least i got this one but now it's kind of like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are not bad, I guess, since they're two, so I could use it in case I ever get that blue Thoram, and if not, then maybe a different one. This guy, though, this guy, though, dude, that is complete and utter trash because there's absolutely zero use for that card. Not for skills, not for not anything, anything. There's only like two versions of that player, of that character, so that's whack. This one, hopefully, then I have another Rivaul or something for this one. I think it's the overhead kick one. Yeah, a combination over here. Hopefully, I have some that would just help me be the uh, uh, in the future. But really, there's never any good chalk cards. So these two are complete trash. There's no good one of this guy. Nothing good here. Like, come on, K-Lab. Give us some good cards of other characters, man. Stop falling into the safe zone of like, ooh, ooh. Are people leaving? I guess. Oh, here's a new Subasa with a new hat. 
Oh, here's a new Misaki, even though we just released one a few uh, a few months ago, and then we featured him. And then here's a new one, and then we're gonna feature the Super Dream Festival again after we just featured this. Like, come on, dude, what's up with that? Don't start getting lazy on us now either, man. That's not cool. That's not cool. Ugh. Anyway, you know, I do enjoy the game, but uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't been playing it religiously like I used to. Um, I mean, there's a lot of live sports on TV that I've been watching and I get distracted with and stuff like that. I've been into the Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis as well. I've been going to gigs, shows, concerts, etc. So, you know, you know. And right now, I have a pretty decent team. And, I mean, there's a few chances to upgrade it. And, well, there's kind of, like, nothing for me to pull on right now. So, you know. Uh, give us something new. But then again, at the same time, now that I think about it. Even if we were to ask, like I just did right now that I'm complaining. Like, come on, man. There's no good other. Like, okay, if we're going to introduce a play like Luis and Poli or something. Then, like, give us more versions of them or whatever. But then again, even though they made these increases in momentum and stuff like that, we still have the same issue, dude. Anybody that comes in and wants to build up a totally non-Japanese team, they're still very difficult to build them up to their max potential because you're forcing us to just use duplicate cards. Which is okay, I guess, but there's not that many versions of a lot of these guys, man. And then you give us, and then how are we supposed to even do it? Like, again, Natureza. Natureza. A lot of the cards that were previously there have been taken from, took it away from a lot of the pools. So now we got to hope that some of these old cards or whatever, old versions of these cards, pop out through these SSR tickets. But then how? Then we still have to deal with this crap. This crap, like, what the hell is he going to do for me? Or this other guy up there. That's one, two, three, four potentially absolutely useless trash that still exists in the freaking pool. And for what? For what? Give us a good version of child that we can use then or something, man. Because this is getting kind of like annoying, dude. This is getting annoying. Like at, at first I didn't want to do like just, just a Japanese team and blah, blah, blah. Like when I first started playing the game. But then, you know, there's all this other stuff and there's all these other players introduced and blah, blah, blah. But then it just turns all into the same crap, man. Come on. Come on. Make it so that we can see some variety of teams, bro. Like, come on, dude. Kind of pissing me off a little bit. But anyway. Anyway. I don't know if they're, if, you know. If, okay, Mr. Small Time YouTuber, whatever you say, you know, that's cool. I know they probably don't give a crap about what I'm saying, you know. But at the same time, I'd like to believe that they maybe do come across these videos every now and then because of the fact that, well, at least I have been, I have been complaining about the fact again the non-Japanese players, like what the heck, the disparity in the momentum of the of the skills and stuff like that available to them, how it highly favors the Japanese players, which it still does. But at least, you know, bringing increasing that momentum of, like I mentioned in the examples, the shutout tackles and all that stuff for Alberto that are now from 440 to like 511 or something like that. So that they become at least serviceable skills for possible future units or whatever. But it's kind of hard when all you keep giving us are another version of Misaki, another version of Misaki, another version of Misaki. Oh, now here, let me feature Misaki again. Like, <sighs> anyway. Every now and then I'm gonna vent about it because as much as I like the game, I hardly ever criticize it. I'll talk about some of the issues that it has or whatever, but I don't think I've gotten for some reason I just got really upset about it right now. I think maybe this stinking pull right here reminded me of it as like some of the things that I've been holding in where I'm actually a little upset with the game, the developers, and some of the stuff that they've done with the game for sure. Uh, but I mean they they have made changes that are improvements, absolutely. But at the same time, well you know I'm not just kissing it, I'm not here to just like kiss their butt you know but any <sighs> as always please well that'll be the end of the video don't forget to like don't forget to leave me some comments subscribe 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 we'll be back for some more in the meantime while you wait for that next episode take some time to please practice being kind let's practice kindness practice kindness let's be respectful let's be responsible let's be safe Please take care of yourselves and each other. Much love and peace. Till the next video.